Hi legends, welcome back. We're actually getting in the festive spirit. Who would have seen or who would have guessed that I would be watching a Christmas movie on this channel? I don't think we've really done that before, but we are here. We are watching Good Luck Charlie, it's Christmas. I've wanted to cover Good Luck Charlie for so long and I finally found a way to do it. We are covering the Good Luck Charlie Christmas movie. I don't care about the debate about what's the best Christmas movie. If this one's not in the discussion, I don't wanna hear that chat. Okay, because you're just talking rubbish. I think this is the best Christmas movie. We're going to jump straight into it and I'm so bloody excited. If you want to see the full length reaction to this movie, it will be available down below on my Patreon. Please don't forget to subscribe. I want to get to 60k and follow me on my socials if you want, you know, if you want to just like see some reels or I don't know, bonus content from me, that will be there too. Okay. All of the pop girlies are so lucky that Bridget Mendler decided, hmm, I'm going to be humble. I'm going to go to university. They should all be paying her their thanks because they wouldn't have stood a chance. Good Luck Charlie was actually one of my favourite shows as I got older. I just think it was a really good Disney Channel original show and it just felt kind of grounded and something very relatable. For once, we didn't have someone that wanted to be a pop star. That's what it was. Off the ground. <laughs> Charlie was such a menace to society. I don't care if she's like three years old. She was breaking too many things in this show. I mean, what if we lose all the things that make Christmas in Denver so special? I loved the mum in this so much and I still do. I just pretend I don't know exactly who she is in real life because she's not the most inspiring person in real life with some of her beliefs. Okay, what about... What about the star? I love how Mummy Dearest here is acting like you can't just pack that in your bag for Christmas. Although I kind of agree with her. I hate the idea of going away on Christmas. I'd rather just be at home. Wow. That never gets old. Also, Dad in this, hey. such a dilf, such an icon. I love Eric, if that's his name. What an icon. Zaddy. I press this button right here, the whole thing retracts. Mm. That's embarrassing. Now, what I won't lie about is in this movie, could not have cared less about Gabe and his gaming. I did not want to see it. I could not care. It just bored me a bit, this whole plot line with the gaming. It'd be a bit weird now, wouldn't it, if I like completely change opinion and I'm watching it and I'm like, mm, this is actually a really good plot line. It just wasn't giving enough Christmas for me, that plot line, and I just didn't care about it. How important is the star on the tree tradition to you? How important do you want it to be? Wouldn't be Christmas without it. Why they can't just pack the star into their luggage i don't understand why she needs to convince the rest of them that it's important just pack it in your carry-on pack it in your bag am i stupid i don't fly on planes i don't know the rules would it be seen as like a weapon i don't know but i just say pack it but just remember if you don't book that ticket soon you're going to be spending spring break right on that couch oh. and i'm going out the back you know what would be funny is if she just remembered like in rehearsal well, whilst filming that she wasn't supposed to go out the front door. Because why she said she's going out the back? I'm not sure. But it'd be quite funny if she just kind of messed it up as they were filming. I like to think she did. Why is mom freaking out about that stupid star on the tree? Honey, because sometimes the thing that you focus on isn't the thing that's causing all the stress. So what is? Uh, uh well. Oh, oh, Bob Duncan? He can't say. Because Mother Dearest is pregnant, if you remember. Spoiler! She's pregnant. She's got a bun in the oven. Ah! You let me babysit Charlie. Why are we still discussing this? 6.04 a.m. Yeah, I'd be on my last straw if I was the mother. Relax, I think you'll make it. As long as you're not smuggling anything. Ha <laughs> 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 What is he smuggling? Is it the game? That's so lame. Also, they're not going to care if you're smuggling a game, are they? You are right, dude? It's a little sweaty. <laughs> I'm fine. Being sweaty as well at 10 years old is suspicious. Because what are you sweating for at 10 years old? Do you, can you even sweat at that age? Oh, because he was taking his whole... Com that is just a wee. That literally is just a wee. <laughs> I only just realised that now. Whoa. That get there? The way he doesn't even know it was there. Like, you didn't feel tape on you. Some things are too dumb to convince me that they actually happened. We going for a sleigh ride. No one else could have taken a bag off of Bob. He's already got a lot. <laughs> no one wanted to help my man out. He was left to fend for himself. Charlie could have at least carried a bag. Like, pull your weight. These are actors. Because look at their running faces. They know what true pain is. What are you doing? I'm being responsible for getting a plane ticket to spring break. I'll be on the next flight out. Are you going to let her do that? 
Teddy was so ballsy and messy for this one, though. You want to tell me how to be a parent? You want to go there? No, ma'am. No, I don't. Rewatching this, though, I used to love Amy Duncan. I still do. But she also did have major Karen energy. I think we can do better. Ma'am, are you telling Is me Is Amy how to Duncan do my about job? to square up? You shouldn't have hit her. I didn't hit her. She did square up fully. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's been five hours. Just thought I'd give you an update. <laughs> oh, that might have been my last video diary. Honestly, fair enough. Get that camera out of his face. Did he want to be on your camera? No, I don't think so. If someone put their camera in my face, phew, knocking that down. Do not leave me alone in a room with grandma. I heard that. Oh, hey! You cannot recover from that. Oh my. I would feel awful. I would want to crawl into a hole and die. Who wants a mint? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he was just trying to politely say to all of them that they have some musty breath. Hello, smoking hot granddaughters. Their mothers aren't bad either. Okay. He said, get yourself a milf. Santa's reindeer. It's priceless. They haven't made one like that in 50 years. She's just a dumb pooter for putting that on the table where Charlie could reach it. Like, use your three brain cells. It's hard to imagine she actually raised her own daughter. Don't be ridiculous. Just tell her not to touch them. You did have kids once, right? That's what I'm saying. Keep her away from more chickens. <laughs> Keep her away from more chicken. I can't do it. I just killed it. I just killed the whole thing that I found funny. <laughs> Terribly sorry, but I can't let you back on the bus. The other passengers refuse to travel with you. Okay, listen, people. I didn't want to get on this stinking bus in the first place. At this point, if I had to, I would just say it. Just say that you're pregnant. No one's going to kick off a pregnant woman off a bus. Like, I know she wanted to surprise people or not tell them straight away, but she should have just said that. So many things could have been different in this movie. I still love it, though. I love a messy movie. But see what I said? Charlie is messy. She was looking to instigate. Okay, I don't care what anyone says about this three-year-old. She just wanted to be destructive. She said, mm, no adults around. <sighs> so what games do you have? Golf. Mm. That's so boring. I'm sorry, I'm a golf hater. 3.45. Louder, you'll it's been nine hours. 50 bucks. Yep. Worth every penny. Every penny. You can't really complain about a car for $50, though. Like, of course it's going to be run down. Boy, take a mint. He said your breath's starting to stink. Stinky. I met so many heartbeats. He is a walking ad for skin cancer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like you've been raised by wolves. Fat wolves. They always came for my man's weight in this show. He wasn't even that big. And regardless, it's not that funny. It's just mean. I don't think Charlie needs a time out. Of course not. She's an angel. I'm talking about you. I would not be having this. This is so patronizing. Bad daddy. Like, no cookies. I would just. This would be such an awkward situation for your in laws to be that patronizing to you and that unhappy that you're a part of the family. Well, that just sucks. And the fact that they lock him in. <laughs> Hostage situation. I'm a responsible adult who can go on spring break without another responsible adult because I am one. How old is she supposed to be at this point? They're like 16. Because fair enough for them not wanting her to go across the country. Give me time. <laughs> it's been a whole 24 hours almost. In another 12 minutes, it would have been 24 hours. Yeah, I can do maths. I took a pee break from 4 to 4.45. Not him developing like a whole beard overnight. His hair grows fast. Not up here, but here? Crazy. Game jom. Jam gan mum chuja. Son ju mom jam. The grandparents in this were kind of wild. It makes sense why Amy is the way Amy is. They were unhinged. They needed help. Because they kept putting everyone in timeouts. It was a very odd way to deal with things. For mints? Cause I know grandpa's breath is musty right now. Are those mints in your hair? Hand up my nose. Come here. That's such a violation. You need to go to like the ER for that one. Meanwhile, ooh, ooh. We can fix that. That's what Bob the Builder would say. That 
It's just all so like, ridiculous, though. The desert. I think it's Utah. Oops. Teddy really was the OG vlogger, though. What a trendsetter. What an icon. Sue and Stan McKinney. Nice to meet you. Uh, would you mind if we share the booth with you? We don't want to be taking up too much space. I don't know why, but this whole scene is so suspicious. Just the angles and these two old farts. It seems like it could be the start of a murder mystery. Am I the only one who thinks that? Probably. <laughs> Crying out loud, can you give us a ride? <laughs> Stranger danger. I can't let you near the furniture like that. Now this one I don't blame because it would be kind of annoying to have his greasy ass sitting on your chair when it's not easy to clean. I don't want his suntan, oiled up body on my chair. So the one time I agree with grandma in this movie. We love the desert. Now come and hold See look, these two blondies in the back having the audacity to roll their eyes and seem really annoyed that these two farts, old farts are singing. You can't be. They're doing you a favour. They didn't have to take you in their car. Now you have either been abducted by aliens or you're pregnant. Cat's out the bag. Oh my God. Oh my God. Surprise. She's like, Merry Christmas. There's gonna be another one in the house because we don't really have enough. You no longer have a room to yourself. <gasps> this stinky liar. Oh, yeah. Can't believe how rude she was being, scavenging out here. Amy Duncan gives you money and you repay her by stealing her stuff. We're gonna have some issues. Not only that, but stealing from a pregnant woman. Oh. Evil. All right, guys, go get a change of clothes. We're going. Are you leaving me here alone on Christmas Eve? Yes, musty, Eve? dusty Patricia. <sighs> Wait, how do I keep her from breaking things? It's easy. Just tell her not to touch Kind of them. popped off with that one, didn't he, Mr. Bob Duncan? He's a deal for a reason. I'm not the one who's supposed to actually be responsible. And I'm not the one who ruined Christmas. Mm. Not wrong, though. Like, speak your truth, Amy. I already feel awful and you just want me to feel worse. No, no, no. Deserved. I love Teddy, but deserved. She has them crawling their asses all the way through America, all because she wanted to get a plane ticket for spring break in months to come. Priorities, girly. Go on that Christmas break. Don't mess it up. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. You know how bold you have to be to just go off and busk and just sing in public? Her balls are unmatched. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. What are you doing? I'm helping you. No, I don't need help. I can do this on my own. No, you can't, Teddy. You're not even in the right <laughs> place. <laughs> Teddy can't catch a break in this movie. Trying to do the math here. 1014. It was 6 a.m. before. Been out 24 hours. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's been... 36 hours. Math, mm, that's my strong point. Said no one ever. Oh. I'd be mad if I was that child and I lost my ice cream. Imagine these two ladies just steal your ice cream. Who are you guys? Are you policemen? I'm gonna need to see some badges. Also, because this is all just a setup, wouldn't these guys should check for actual ID? Like, oh, you're the people who came to play this game with us? It said no, they, they terrorised these citizens who didn't have any idea what they were getting themselves into. It was a messy situation. Not thought through. I'm sorry I ruined Christmas. Hey, you did not ruin Christmas. She kind of did. Let's not lie about it. She's wearing my purple top. She looks better in it than I do. Hey, hey, wait, if they were wait, just basing it off of the purple top, that would have been hilarious because who knows and who guesses that other people can wear the same things as you. But also they were right for it because that was their luggage. Austin, all I want to do is just go home and can't because it's like a thousand miles away and I don't have any money. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Imagine if I was that awful. Although that buffet did look good and I think I would even turn into a thief just for the buffet. What we want to keep the stone of Metrios out of your dirty yellow hands. I've no idea. Dirty yellow hands? Are they smokers? They've been outed. The Duncan men smoke. I knew Gabe's voice was always a bit too raspy. But yeah, even though I'm seeing this again, I really could not care less about this plot point. Like, it just didn't grip me, okay? I could have done without this in the movie. I didn't need the men in this movie. I just needed Amy and Teddy. Three. Embarrassing. 
Wow. Also, why would you not just try turning the doorknob first before pushing through it? I think I can win this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do I care? No. But she said that she would never forgive me. Girlie. Well, you know, sometimes moms say things they don't really mean. Surprised her mum didn't send her like a search party for her daughter. So I don't know if the mum's really wanted her daughter to come back, did she? Doesn't seem like it. I don't think it's a coincidence that every time we get one of these scenes I become freezing cold. It's just I could not care any less about this plot line and it makes me freeze because I'm like my body just doesn't want to see it. It says please look away, go for a run, anything but this. These two are so brave, so bold, girl bosses to the end. Who are you? You're not even in the game. Oh yeah? Then why am I holding the stone we <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when 10 year olds talk that they have connections, I just can't take them seriously because you're not connected to anyone but Bob the Builder and Dora the Explorer. Right here. Hey. <gasps> oh my god, they're all here. Oh my god, the whole gang arrived. Oh my god. It's a happy Christmas ending. Are you ready? Imagine if We're Teddy didn't hit baby. record. <laughs> I know one of these three that was like. You guys are still able to get down and busy with four of us and you want another one who's sharing a bedroom not me not teddy not learning a single thing this entire movie they said character growth no we'll be back by new year's no you are that sounded like a threat no you won't Set. Who was out here swearing? Wait a second. Wait one second. <laughs> I don't know, but someone behind the scenes. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> that is the end of the Good Luck Charlie Christmas movie. Let me know if that's one of your favourite Christmas movies. If it's not, you're wrong. Sure, it doesn't seem like I enjoyed it because I didn't like that little plotline, but best bet, I did. I am now festive. You see that? Festive. I think it should be required watching every Christmas season. But yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Let me know what you think. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Thank you.